50. The Congregation of the Dead A friend who is a very fine man and a superior farmer lives in an area where a beautiful game bird has been planted. This fact does not please him. In fact, what the birds eat makes a $5,000 difference in his income. He would like to be rid of the birds, but it is illegal for him to do anything about it. I liked to tell that story as I travel just to see the reactions I get. Almost all are of two kinds. Some feel that they as humans have much at stake in extending the territory and feed of the game birds and the farmers must realise that his land belongs to the animals too. Others are against any hunting and are hostile to the attitude of farmer and hunter alike. None of them really answer my question when I then ask. How would you feel if the $5,000 came out of your income? Men are always ready to see everyone except themselves make sacrifices for some desired goal. It is a course of wisdom and understanding to ask in all situations, what does God's will in this matter and what does his word say? And am I ready to pay the price for what I want? A society in which men penalise others for what they want and fail to consider God's word is devoid of wisdom and understanding. Solomon tells us, quote, The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Proverbs 21.16 This same is true of a nation. Any country that is made up of men whose policies are governed by their will in disregard of God's law and the cost to other men is headed for death. It is working to fulfil the membership requirements for the congregation of the dead.